going to demonstrate how you can simulate the performance of a magnetic quadrupole pair using the Lorenz program from integrated engineering software. To begin with, I'm showing a full model of a single quadrupole. It consists of four magnetic poles which alternate in polarity and they're energized by current carrying coils. We can take advantage of the symmetry in the system and reduce the size of our model to a single pole and use an anti-periodic condition to simulate the other poles. I'm showing here now field results showing the field pattern and an arrow plot showing the direction of the magnetic field. We'll vary the excitation levels in the coils using the parametric utility. I've set up the parametric using a scale function to scale the volume currents. Now I'm using a formula in the formula, the number sign represents the step number. So the function number minus 1 divided by 50 will automatically scale the current level. At step number 1, there will be zero current. This will increase until at step 51 we have full excitation. I've already run the parametric and I have some results that I can demonstrate using these videos. Here I'm showing first the last parametric step where we have full excitation. This plot shows the X component of the B field in the X equals zero plane. The contours are color coded so that a green indicates zero field, blue indicates a strong negative field, and red indicates a strong positive field. Now this is the final step at full excitation. We'll run the animation so you can see how the field level varies from zero current to full current. we can demonstrate the variation of the Y component of the B field in the Y equals zero plane. Once again I'm showing the results at full excitation and now I'll play the animation from zero current to full current. Now we'll demonstrate some trajectory results. Here I'm showing the trajectories as they experience the full excitation. We've launched beams from along the y-axis, those are colored blue, and along the x-axis, which are colored red. At full excitation, you can see that the blue beams are forced into a focus and then diverge. The red beams initially diverge and then almost reach a focus by the end of the simulation. Now I'll run the animation to show how the beams experience different deflections for different excitation levels. You can see that at zero excitation they're not deflected and then we begin to see the focusing and defocusing effects.